we are creating this world. And then I say, your mind is creating this world. And then I give you the science that says there are two minds that are operating at the same time. One is called the conscious mind and one is called the subconscious mind. I say, what's the difference? The conscious mind is where you are as a spirit, an entity, a unique identity. You are in that conscious mind and perceiving the world. I say, what about the subconscious mind? It's not a creative mind. The subconscious mind is habits, things that you've learned and you experienced in your life and they become habits. So uh, the subconscious mind is not thinking, creating, a subconscious mind, push the button, play the behavior. So here's the point. When we are in our conscious mind, we are connecting our spirituality to the biology and the physical planet that we're in. And that is the creative mind. That's the one you wake up in the morning and say, oh, I wish I had this and I desire that and these are the things I want. And then you go out and start the day and then guess what? 95% of the day, you are not operating from the conscious mind. Science has recognized 95% of the day because we are thinking 95% of the day, our behavior is now controlled by the subconscious mind. I go, okay, so what's the difference in the final conclusion of this is the conscious mind with your creativity has your wishes and your desires. The subconscious mind was programmed by other people, your mother, your father, your siblings, and your community. So what is the difference? You wake up with a wish and a desire of what you want, and then the rest of the day, you play the programs that you got from other people that don't answer your wishes and don't support your desires, and all you see is the consequence of it and go, oh my God, why is it not working? And the answer is, because you don't see, because remember the name is subconscious, below conscious. So when that behavior is playing, Psychologists will tell us 70% or more of the programs in the subconscious are disempowering, self-sabotaging, and limiting behaviors. So the simple reality is this. We have great wishes and desires, and yet our life is not controlled by that. Our life is controlled by the programming, and that programming is the disempowering program. So all you see is the consequence of the invisible subconscious which will sabotage all the desires and wishes you have. And then to conclude that, <laughs> what if you just didn't default to the subconscious? What if you just stayed in the conscious mind? That's called being mindful. And why is it relevant? Because when you stay conscious, keep your mind present, you are the creator of your life. And when people are in mindfulness, they manifest their wishes, their desires, and their happiness. So for all of us, it's sort of a wake-up call. You think you're running your life with your wishes and desires? It's an illusion. You're really running your life with your programs acquired from other people. It was then the most important lesson, number two, and that was this. I don't care how much knowledge is in your head. If that knowledge doesn't go into your subconscious, your life will stay exactly the same as it was. You can be the brightest, smartest academic. And I say, fine, did it change your life? And the answer is no. You have to take the knowledge that you are walking within your conscious mind and put that knowledge into your subconscious programming. And when you do that, you are all powerful in the creation of your own life. And so just walking around and being able to recite all these wonderful sayings and things that you hear from all the wonderful teachers that we have, and you say, oh yes, I remember that. That's a good quote. That's a nice quote. Oh, that's a wonderful saying. It's irrelevant until that saying becomes part of your program because now you are living from the saying and not talking about the saying. And that was the total transformation of a, a life that on an academic level was successful on a personal level. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that. Uh, but it changed everything. Why? Because instead of having to chase after life, after this understanding, things came to me. The light will bring it to you 
the only thing that's in your way of the light is a block in your belief that other people have put into your programming you take your knowledge that you have make it your subconscious program and you will manifest all of the wonderful spiritual wisdom that you have heard throughout your whole life is not words now it is life and behavior and that's our destination thank you